Ah, uh, yeah. This time, I'm stepping in for Druid Cat because this tutorial is hot. We're bringing images to life with smooth lip sync. I'll tease you with a quick and easy method first. Just audio and an image, simple and sweet. This tool is incredibly powerful, and trust me, once you see what it can do, you won't be able to stop. Wait. Before we start, how about a fun fact? Do you know how people in India greet cats? Good morning to my cutie pie, you look very nice. We're going to create a talking image influencer. Just like in my previous videos, you won't even need a powerful GPU. We'll use open source workflows with Comfy UI on the cloud service RunPod to achieve professional level results. This course requires access to my Patreon materials, so I encourage you to support the channel to get the most value from this content. In my last videos, I explained everything about creating an AI influencer using Flux. With a Patreon subscription, you'll also gain access to exclusive materials. Check it out. Let's continue the tutorial with Lyra. Step 1. The first method I'll show you is the simplest and fastest way to create infinite talking avatars from any image just by adding audio. Dead simple, effortless. Every method in today's tutorial has its pros and cons. This one isn't the most realistic, but it's fast, simple, and effortless. If you're looking for more realism, skip ahead to the second method. Head over to runpod.io and sign up if you haven't already. First things first. Deposit $10 into your account. Don't go overboard. If you forget to shut things down, that extra cash will vanish into the pod void. Click Deploy Pods, then choose Community Cloud. If you're only here for this method, an RTX 4090 is totally fine. But for the second method, you'll need an RTX A6000 GPU to handle the heavy compute tasks and VRAM requirements. DruidCat prepared a new RunPod template for everything related to Live Portrait, available exclusively for Patreon supporters. Load the template, sit back, and let it do all the work while you sip something delicious and think about all the magic you're about to create. In just 10 minutes, we chill while everything sets itself up. Workflows, models, and all the necessary files. Once your pod is live, hit connect. Two ports will open. 3030, Comfy UI, 8888, Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is basically your file system and mini OS, all browser-based. Step two, open Comfy UI from port 3030. Totally ignore the missing models warning when loading the graph, just close it. This happens because DruidCat updated Comfy UI to the latest version, which includes some default workflows we don't even use. Head to the Workflow section, the Open Folder icon, and select Image Plus Audio, Talking Avatar, Sonic Workflow. Sonic is our first method. It's fast and ridiculously simple. The workflow is straightforward. Upload an image in the Load Image node. Upload audio in the Load Audio node. Press the Play button at the bottom. That's it. Your final video shouldn't take long to generate. If you encounter any B-Box issues, it means the model didn't recognize the face. Unfortunately, this workflow only works for human faces. It won't recognize cats. Leave resolution as default. Making it bigger might cause some CUDA issues. Also, set the length of your audio in seconds in the Sonic Predata node. Pro tip. For high-quality AI voices, check out Eleven Labs. For images, I recommend Flux. My Run Pod template, available on Patreon, includes everything you need. Your file is ready. You can download it directly from Comfy UI or find your output files in Jupyter Notebook. If you were paying attention in the last tutorial, you know you can also check the library icon. DruidCat added a nice Comfy UI browser for easy access. If you go back to RunPod and open port 8888, you'll find your files under Comfy UI slash output. Step three. We can also try different approach. We'll use the live portrait workflow, which requires both an image and a video reference. The AI will mimic the face movements from the video. 
The downside of this solution is that it doesn't imitate head movements very well, crashes when the camera moves, and requires a static shot. It can still be used to create something realistic, but in my opinion, the first workflow is more practical. Live Portrait still needs technological improvements to deliver even better quality. The advantage, however, is that we can set face detection to animal. For example, a cat. The process is simple. Upload a reference video in the Load Video node. Upload an image in the Load Image node. Click the Play button at the bottom, with the Q word nearby. Sorry for interrupting, but I also discovered a small issue during testing. During the first launch, the Image to Video Live Portrait feature may not work correctly. This is due to an issue with downloading the required model, but it can be easily fixed. In the Download Live Portrait Models node, change the model from Human to Animal to force the correct models to download. Run a quick test generation, then switch back to Human mode. It should now work properly. Remember to adjust the frame rate and resolution in the Load Video node for optimal results. This workflow requires a lot of VRAM, so if your generation hangs, upgrade to an A6000 or a GPU with at least 48 gigabytes of VRAM. A critical setting here is frame load cap. Check your video's frame count. If it's 10 seconds at 25 frames per second, you need 250 frames, 10 times 25. Enter this value in frame load cap. For realistic films, use 25 frames per second. For cartoon style animations, 13 to 15 frames per second is enough. Step four, the video to video workflow is mostly used for memes and parodies of famous scenes. It works the same way as the previous workflow, but you'll need two videos. One video can be AI generated and the other can be a real video. The process remains the same. Just upload, configure the frame load cap and generate. Experiment and have fun with it. It's all about creativity. Step five. Now, let's talk about managing your run pod resources at the end. Stop pod preserves data, but still incurs a small maintenance fee. Delete pod terminates the instance, deletes all data and stops all charges. Always delete your pod after finishing work to save money. That's it for today's tutorial. If you had fun, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps create even more creative content for you. Want the real magic? Come closer. Druid Cat's Patreon is where he drops all the secret custom templates that'll make your AI workflow smooth as silk. I regularly upload exclusive content and prepare new templates for running open source AI in the cloud, saving you time and money since RunPod is one of the cheapest cloud services on the market. I run AI courses on Fiverr, helping clients worldwide. If you want private AI influencer training, you can book a one-on-one -on -one course with me. Whether you're a beginner or aiming for pro-level results, I'm here to help. See you soon. Hey!